Outsiders, what's good? It's your stepfather, Ron Effect, a.k.a. Notorious R-O-N. Back again with another New York Giants video. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. All right, Brian Dable. Let's talk about him. I'm so proud of what he's been doing with the Giants so far, man. I hope he can be long-term for the Giants. He should be long-term. So it's like his first season with the Giants. Got a playoff victory. Got a playoff victory with less. You know, we got, got weapons for Daniel Jones and you coach them into a playoff victory. So it's hopefully in the future it could be lead to more playoff victories in the same season, which can lead to a Super Bowl. Because I know how that sounds. They're hyper play. You don't understand how big a playoff victory is. It's because it's like it's really the real test of your team. Like a team can do very well during the regular season, but if they go out in the first round, like it's all for a waste. It's all the waste. Say hey, you're hyping that right. Like that's what people always say, oh, what do you think the Giants record gonna be? This, that, and another, especially with the rule changes and how many seeds and all that. Bro, it don't matter. If the Giants come in as the final seed and they win the Super Bowl, that's where the bragging rights are. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matters. If you don't, I don't want to say it like that. Well, if you don't win the, the Super Bowl, it's a failed season, even though it's true. But it's like, for some teams progressing, we'll say like, oh, the Cincinnati Bengals or whatever. For them to have made a Super Bowl, you know, your franchise is turning around. Because there's some teams that have never even sniffed the Super Bowl or, you know, or maybe they made to made it to a countless amount of Super Bowls but never won one. The Bills. Um, but, yeah, you know, it is what it is. So, man, we got to get some more recent ones, bro. As a fan, you know, you want to see your, your team there because some teams are, are spoiled as hell. Patriots. Ain't no, ain't no fun, fun no more, huh? Bro, the Patriots will probably never get near a Super Bowl ever again, bro. Especially when Belichick retires. Belichick in is in there for the money right now. So it ain't no, no more fun. I mentioned this in the last Saquon Barkley video. Oh, yeah, about fans and shit. Like you, they pretend like they rep a, a, a team. They pretend they rep a team, but they're only there for a player. Oh, no, oh, where this player goes, I go. And then Tom Brady over at the Buccaneers or whatever. And it seems like the Patriots fans ain't kicking no more. Yeah, hopes and dreams all gone with Tom Brady, with Tom Terrific. I thought he was going to retire Patriots forever. I never thought I'd see that. He went to the Bucks and they, they got it done over there. Crazy. But, um, yeah, so, and that also sparks the debate, oh, who's more important to, oh, Belichick is more important to Tom Brady, or Tom Brady more important to Belichick? But whatever, that's a Tom Brady stand talk. But yeah, so for Brian Dable... Let's hope that he gets the weapons. They're getting there, bro. These young guys, they're building a rapport. Hopefully all contracts and stuff get worked out because that's always a factor, too, with these athletes. Not saying they're in the wrong, but it's like, oh, some athletes, is like when they have great seasons, all they care about is who's going to pay them the most. Not saying that's wrong, but it's like, come on, like, isn't it about winning? Winning Super Bowls, having chemistry with your teammates, chemistry with your coaches, you know, I've never been in the NFL, but I can only imagine it's like, oh, yeah, you've been with this team for so long. Now you got to go to this team. And you got to build chemistry. And, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like with your teammates who won't like who, how do they do things over there? Because every, every franchise, every organization does things differently. So for Brian Dable, like, you know, hopefully they continue to draft and sign players that, you know, are comfortable with him because he has a good resume, a great resume. What, five Super Bowls from the Patriots, a national championship ring from Alabama, coaching under Nick Saban. Um, he's been quarterback coaches, uh, was a tight end coach for the Patriots. Well, he's been, he's been, he's a journeyman somewhat for the, he's been a journeyman for the NFL and college football. He's got a lot of experience. I think he's like, what, 48? And, um, yeah, but that's what the Giants, that's what you definitely need in a coach. You need experience, but you need winning experience. So he's been around a winning environment. So hopefully he can bring that to the Giants. Oh, Buffalo Bills, too. You bring that to the, not like as in, like, you know, championships, but, like, when the Bills start to go up. when that, Now they took over the, the AFC East, he was part of that. So, yeah, so hopefully he can bring up the Giants into that atmosphere as a head coach, that he's in full control and all that. So, yeah, it's what the Giants need, bro. It's not, it doesn't always come down to the players. Definitely need that head coach there. As you can see, it was a freaking dumpster fire when McAdoo was there. You know, when Pat Shermer was there, who I was very wrong about. I thought I thought Pat Shermer was going to be. I don't want to say I thought Pat Shermer was going to be what Brian Dable is, but I just thought it was going to go up, but it didn't, it didn't go nowhere. Maybe we, got, we went a little bit further. Maybe the, maybe the car pushed a little bit further, but nah, it still had flats on it. And then, you know, then uh, what? Joe Judge... It is what it is, but hey, let, let's be here now. I'm not going to even dwell on it when we got something good going. The season's right around the corner, so we're going to see how it goes. So, does this match with that? Like, I should have got another red hat. But it's like, this blue match with this? All right, whatever. This is new, too. <laughs> this is new, too. I had to upgrade the wardrobe. So, anyways, 
Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Tell me how you guys feel in the comments about Brian Dable, where you think it's going to go, um, what other coaches in the NFL, you know, because you got your Belichick's, your Mike Tomlin's, uh, what other coaches are like long-term. Like, I just want that, I want that to be Brian Dable. Long-term Giants head coach, like what he had, like what the Giants had with Tom Coughlin, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to be a key part of the organization. So let's see where it goes from here. So this is this upcoming season is going to tell a lot. And I'm going to be here for it. And it's going to be fun. So, yeah, make sure you leave your comments. And, yeah, like, subscribe, and share, all that. But, yeah, make sure you leave those comments. And I'll see you next time. Jersey!